Hello, and welcome to A Ministry Moment of Power with Evangelist Dr. Ophelia Griggs. I would like to take a few minutes just to talk about Stay the Course. Why it is important to stay the course. Have you ever felt like you have shifted from what you started? There's a feeling of something is out of order. Should this be what you have encountered or is encountering? If so, stop for a moment and pinpoint the distractions. Distractions come to take you off course. Distractions come to disrupt your life, your plans, your ideas. And distractions come with a motive. Yes, distractions come with a motive. So, the motive is to get you off course. And when you are off course, you are out of balance. You have gotten out of alignment with God's word. You have gotten out of alignment with his truth and plan he has instructed for you. So let's take a few seconds and look at Psalm 119. Psalm chapter 119. This is a good place to start because it gives guidance, it gives direction, it gives tips about how to stay the course. So let's take a look at Psalm 119 verses 1 through 6, and it reads, Blessed are the undefiled in the way, who walk in the law of the Lord. So in other words, this is a person that is blameless, who is walking in the way, which is the way of the Lord. Blessed are they that keep his testimonies and seek and that seek him with the whole heart. So this blameless person seeks the Lord with his or her whole heart. They also do no iniquity or they do no wrong. They walk in his ways. Thou hast commanded us to keep thy precepts diligently. All that my ways were directed to keep thy statutes. Verse 6, Then shall I not be ashamed when I have respect unto all thy commandments. And let's look at a few more verses. Verses 10 through 12. With my whole heart have I sought thee. Oh, let not wander from thy commandments. Oh, let me not wander, wander from thy commandments. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. And let's go down to 15 and 16 of Psalm chapter 19. I will meditate in thy precepts and have respect unto thy ways. I will delight myself in thy statues. I will not forget thy word. So you see why it's important to stay the course? Do not allow yourself to become blindsided and miss out on your blessings. When your life is filled with disruptions, sin has come into the camp. And it will rob or steal from you. Sin will steal your joy, your peace, your focus, your commitment, and your posture. Meaning with posture that upright or upright before God. Walking upright before God. So when your posture is upright, you are balanced and not bent over or staggering unsteadily in your walk to the point of where you might fall. So that's why it is important to stay the course, to keep sin out 
And when you see those destructions come about, recognize it, acknowledge it, and dispel those distractions as soon as you can because you do not want to get out of sync with walking with the Lord. You don't want to get out of sync of walking according to his precepts, according to his statutes, according to his word, according to his truth. So I'm going to end it now by saying I thank you for listening. I pray that, that you have been encouraged that this ministry moment of power has encouraged you, has given you a little tidbit that you can chew on, meditate on, ponder on, and apply it in your life. And I do pray the peace of God to rest within you. Thank you.